Good morning, all of you objectivists. <laughs> and um, taking time to uh, peruse my library this morning. This is the first edition of Atlas Shrugged. Actually, I have a couple of first editions. Um, and it's coming into play now more than ever. This is a really good copy. Just a beautifully well-preserved copy with a shield and all that kind of stuff. I do not have a signed copy, which I did. I don't have anything signed by Ayn Rand, I don't think. Our autograph was way too expensive. But uh, you need to own the book, even if it's just a crappy copy. I've loaned my original reader's copy to my wife, who is reading my underlines, not simply the book itself, so she can understand what paragraphs meant something to me. I always underline a book when I'm reading it, unless it's a signed first edition. I try to find a reader copy of anything that I have. Sometimes I will read the signed book just because it's got that kind of magic to it, but I try to keep it pristine if I possibly can. I'm challenging you, now is a good time to binge read. Because if you read Atlas Shrugged and you read it the right way, when you get to page about 475 dedicated day of your life to reading the rest of it. Just saying. Uh, for those of you who have read, for those of you who have read Atlas Shrugged, please comment. Please tell me what it meant to you. For most people, it's the best book they've ever read. For most people, it changed their way of thinking about the importance of the entrepreneurial spirit and how important a role that plays versus the government. For me, it was a life changer. <clears throat> that and the Fountainhead talked about ethics, talked about morality, talked about entrepreneurship, talked about sticking at it until you win, talked about having ideals. Solid. Am I an objectivist? No. Am I a pragmatist? Yes. Am I a capitalist? Yes. And so you have to look at yourself and say, okay, who define yourself. Who are you? Who are you seeking to become in this world? And the reason I'm bringing that up is that right now, post-pandemic, you can be anybody. You can do anything your heart desires. And so I'm coaching several people right now, and I'm telling them, do what you love. Why are you coming home from work being pissed off every day because your boss is a jerk, your customers or your coworkers or your prices or your inventory? Ah! Do what you love. Don't do things for the money. Do things for the love, and the money will show up in bigger quantities. I can promise you that. Huge quantities. My, my financial planner, the great Walter Putnam, he doesn't sell insurance or financial plans. He helps people. Been helping me for more than 20 years. I'm in. I'm never going anywhere else because I know his spirit is genuine. And when you love what you do, your spirit will always be genuine. When you love, love what you do, your spirit will always be genuine. Jeffrey Gittimer. So why isn't your when you love what you do, your spirit will always be genuine? That's that's a comment that's worth saving. That's a comment that's worth understanding. It's the first time I ever said it, by the way. So I saved it right away. The same way I'm recommending to you to save your ideas and your thoughts right away. But they pop up all the time if you love what you do, period. Come on. So if you love what you do, tell me why. Put it in there. 
And if you're getting information from this broadcast, which is nearing 200 days, I'm told, um, tell me why. Come on, get interactive with me the same way I'm interactive with you. I try my best to talk to people every day. And I think that um, you're getting the message. I love doing this. I'm not, Whoa, crap, I gotta go. No, I love this. This is my favorite part of the day. Well, tied for a first. Interacting with my wife, interacting with my children, Gabrielle and uh, Stacey, Erica, and Rebecca, and, and this. What could be better? What could be better? Answer, I don't know. And I'm honing in on LinkedIn Live. Come on, Ken Walls. I'm honing in on LinkedIn Live. Let's make it happen this week or next. And all of a sudden, my audience will triple, I think. I don't know. I honestly don't know what will happen. Justin, what are you up to? When one door of happiness closes, another opens. But often we look so long at the closed door that we do not see the one that's been open for us, Helen Keller. What a woman. What an amazing woman. Good morning from Torrance. I remind myself every morning, nothing I say this day will teach me anything. So if I'm going to learn, I must do it by listening. Larry King. Cool. Cheers to your sales boost coffee. Let me tell you what. Cheers to you, dude. Cheers to Justin, new father. I got a picture of a little baby yesterday. Beautiful. Luckily, it doesn't look like him. Just kidding. It actually does look like him. A uh, woman looking like Justin. Cool. Little girl. Happy day community. Of course, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. Victor Frankel. Whoa. Whoa. Hoo -hoo. Good evening, Toru. You don't have to be a direct contribution to be a valuable team member. Good morning from sunny Calgary, Canada. And Belgium has checked in. Where is, where's Tevin? Where the hell is Tevin? He's probably out there, but not actively joined. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Good morning to you. All of these people that are on here. Walls, good morning. Um, get me your chapter. Record. Do good. I have a couple of ideas. We'll talk about them later. This is so good. I'm almost done recording the uh, Go Live book. I'm at page 126 out of 160. And I should be done tomorrow. And that will make me feel so good. And if you're out there and you've written a chapter in the book, there's a few of you. Get your chapter recorded, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Good morning from Kansas City. <clears throat> Good morning, all. Zoom and WebEx going on in the background. Going to be a busy day. Make the best of it. Cool. WebEx, are they still there? Grand community and learning. Yep. It's my pleasure, sir. It is my pleasure. So what are you guys doing that's different and better than you were doing yesterday? That's what I want to know because we got some really cool comments popping up in here. Let me go through a couple of them. Alan, what do you got to say? No one has achieved extraordinary success without being persistent in the pursuit of extraordinary goals. Concur. Why do you have multiple copies of the same books in your library? Because I, they were acquired at the same time. Some are signed. Some are first editions. Can't help it. I can't help it. Sometimes they're just there. Um looking around for multiples, but I don't see any right here or here. You know, it's, uh, they happen. Sometimes I buy someone's collection of sales books and they're in the whole thing. Jeffrey Gittimer quotes, rock stars like anyone else have to show discipline and take consistent good action. <laughs> exactly. And they put their pants on one leg at a time. Jeffrey, one of my Insider Club challenges from last week led to a sale yesterday morning. Boom. That's so cool. That's, I love that kind of stuff. Great story. Atlas Shrugs, profound insight. Good morning from Deer Park. Good morning. Yep. Yep. 
A golden gem. The first the imperatives of success. Number one, think. Set aside time to think and understand to see the big picture and how you fit into it. Alongside of your to-do list, create a longer of to become list. That's where thinking comes from. Key point of understanding, document as you think. Don't let thoughts or ideas escape you ever. Jeffrey Gittimer. Yeah, I'm a thinker and a writer. I document immediately. You saw what I did this morning. I documented. Good morning to you from way up, way up in Canada. Good morning. Good evening, Toru. Good morning, buddy. Good evening, buddy. How are you? And reading Atlas Shrug for the first time right now, page 100, incredible. Have to force myself to put it down so I can go to bed at night. Let me tell you what, you're going to have a real problem going to bed in about another 300 pages. Um, Paul, we're going to have a great day. And to you, my friend, great day to you. You learn how to push yourself. Quitting can become a habit becomes far easier to, far too easy the more you do it. You should try to push yourself further than you feel you need to. You will not always succeed, but the trying and the perseverance will make you tougher and more likely to succeed in the future. Good evening from Singapore. Thank you. I This morning I was recording at 7.30, recording the book uh, Go Live, and I did, I pushed myself. I pushed myself to do the last chapter so tomorrow I can finish. It was a push. I made a few mistakes because you can't read. Even if it's your own words, you just can't read quickly. You have to read enthusiastically. You have to read with, with some kind of vocal variety. So I did. For some, a job would be a great thing to come home from. Yep. When you love what you do, your spirit will always be genuine. Jeffrey Gittimer. Write it down, copy it, screenshot it, go for it, boom. I just did. I'll smile. There you go. I got a better shot now. Kuna, good day, friends. Take life into your own hands and create your own purpose. I agree. Is your financial advisor taking new clients? Oh, yes, he is, Justin. I will put you in touch with him. Just text me and say, Financial advisor, please, and I'll put you in touch with the great Walter Putnam. Never read, but just ordered a copy. Good. Need a life changer. Let me tell you what. This is a wake-up call of wake-up calls. Gregory Sneed, this is my day 197. Thank you for that update. I'm putting you in charge. You're going to be my day keeper, my time keeper. Not my time traveler, my time keeper. Does anyone believe in time travel? A Simpsons guy, time traveler. So weird. Is this live available afterwards? Yes, it is. It's uh, available on Facebook all the time. What I do helps other people realize their dreams in a way that is sustainable when they manage well. Cool. That's a good one. Good morning, Justin. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My boss is a jerk, but I love him. Every time I try to quit, he gives me a raise. Ron is the boss. <laughs> I love building things, hot rods, motorcycles, houses, and businesses. Cool. Jeffrey, we never know what we're going to hear next, but we do know it will be useful if we decide to act on it. Dylan, thank you. You will get it. Reading How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success right now is one of the best books I've read in a long time. Mike, um, it's guy by a guy named Frank Betcher, who, um, amazing sales writer from the 40s. But he has a book on Benjamin Franklin where he extracted all the Benjamin Franklin stories and sayings. Get that also. It's amazing. I got a lot of his stuff. I like him. His stuff is still in print, too, by the by. Signed first edition. Oh, for, <laughs> of Atlas Shrugged. I wonder how much they want for it. Put the price in, Chris. Um, everybody, 
it's it's unbelievable. Amy, Amy, call me. Come on, it's time to step up. I want to do that gig for you. Where is Jill? Let's roll. Unless you did something to piss off the CEO of LinkedIn. No, I didn't. I've never talked to the CEO of LinkedIn. I've only given them nice things to say. Doug, good morning, winners. My current project is moving slowly. I'm lucky to thank Jeffrey and Ken Walsh for helping me on this exciting project. It will bless many people once it is finished. Have patience. We're after quality, not speed. Exactly. Morning, 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 morning. And Dan, the scary part of this book is the reality of forces arrayed against freedom and creativity. The double scary part is that once you read this, you see forces are all around us. Fight every day for John Galt and the entrepreneurial freedom. I concur. Although I identified with Hank Reardon, still do. My absolute favorite reader twice in English, once in German. Wow, Martin, cool. Ayn Rand was such a great thinker. I agree. I I didn't just read the book. I read it slowly. The prose is so beautiful. And then you come to the reality. Wait, this is this woman's second language. It's not even her native tongue. Unbelievable. Here's the link to apply for LinkedIn Live. I, I have. Thank you, Justin. I, we I think we have an inside track. I'm not 100% positive, but we'll see. Send me the final transcript. Yes, sir. Coming. Your success as a family, our success as a nation depends on what happens inside the White House. Not what happens inside the White House, but what happens in your house. Yeah. I think they have a little bit in common there. Taco Tuesday, go for it. Dale Dawson, good morning from Memphis, Tennessee. And Bob, how are you? Bob sent me some nice things. Very, very nice. The salsa is amazing, and I totally appreciate it. We're eating it literally this day. I read the sales Bible probably 10 years ago and saw you in Florida, and now coming back to you. Good morning, Allison. Good morning to you. And thank you. Good morning from wherever you're from. I know where you're from. Yesterday, I was so clever. I wanted to change the world. Today, I'm... I'm wise. I'm changing myself. <laughs> Bruce, phenomenal. Melissa Maldonado, good morning from Kenneth Square, PA. Good morning from Rainy Tallahassee. This people from all, I love what I do. I love to help and serve. And I love these 959s because I'm surrounded by others who I know feel the same and also love what they do and love helping others. Joe, you are 100% correct. 100% correct and a great student. Morning from Philly. Morning, sir. Debbie Anderson, Indiana. Been there. Exactly. This is cool. You need to get together for coffee, but not, not that coffee. Get real coffee. You have a great collection, Tom. Thank you very kindly. Wyatt's wisdom in the Insiders Club is worth the price of admission. I concur. Wyatt's wisdom is worth... <laughs> One of my blessings of life is I get to talk to Wyatt every day. We just chit-chat about the world and shit that's happening. And I'm telling you, it is my total blessing to know Wyatt. And I, I met him through Joe Soto, so blessing on blessing, because Joe Soto has been a blessing for damn near 15 years. It's phenomenal what happens in the world if you do the right thing. Just do the right thing. That's all I'm saying. Um, I'm going to save this. Everybody, everybody's here. I have around 40 copies of Sun Tzu's Art of War because different translations commentary, pictures, etc. Sad some people don't own 40 books, period. I agree. I, I have stated for years that books are not just for reading, they're also for reference. And you have to, and they're for giving. You can give books. It's so wonderful to give a book. 
Thank you for inspiring it. Reread Atlas Shrugged. I'm going to do this. I agree. One of the books. I agree. Jeffrey's background represents one one hundredth the size of his library. It's a reminder to always be reading, always be learning. Soto. Soto. Good morning, my friend. So happy to see you on these lives. So happy. I like the subject. Cool. Charles Coachman, good morning. Jim T. Today I'm calling prospects for for my all new biz. Let's make it happen. New biz builder, main tool, excellent customer service even before they're a customer, even better than yesterday. Wishing you well. William, you lumber man yourself. Insiders Club Challenge of the Week is very well timed. Working on getting done and continuing it. My pleasure. Ron, morning. Give your boss a hug. Okay, I will. Can't wait to see you, Joe Soto. Kellen, Ken, if you want more leads, more clients, be sure to be there or be square. Kellen Ann, meet your not meet your average Joe Soto today. My coffee talk, 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, which is noon time, real time. I'll pop on. If I'm able to, I will pop on. Morning, everyone. If you want to achieve your goals, help others achieve theirs. I concur. I totally concur. Jersey. Jersey. And people from Jersey, they pop in. I have a lot of people from Jersey here. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I called airplanes. My daughter, Stacy, flew home yesterday to, back to uh, Florida, and the plane was full. Middle seats, everything, just like normal, except you got to wear a mask. Back to the future. Yep. Yep. It's real. I, I, I feel like it's real. Can't explain it. It's real. What CRM do you recommend? I, I honestly do not. Um, Jim, if you will email me, Jeffrey at Gittimer.com, I'm going to give you a couple of, of uh, possibilities. Take a look at Outstand, O-U-T-S-T-A-N-D.com. It's not a true CRM, but it's kind of better. Take a look, Outstand.com. And, um, oh, I'm so happy. Phil, my pleasure. My pleasure to surprise. Always my pleasure to surprise. Did you ever look into Jocko's good video? Yes, I did. It's good. Um, good morning from sunny mid-Michigan, wherever that is. Amy, me too. Okay, cool. Well, come on, let's go. Let's put a call together today, Amy, me and you, and Jill. Looking forward to Kellen and Joe Soda today. Me too. No problem yet. Time keeping time travel fees can be a little steep, yet worth every penny. Oh my God. Time travel fees. I love that. I don't want a middle seat either. I want to sit in the aisle. All I recommend Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. So do I. I recommend anything she writes. Philosophy Who Needs It is the ultimate Ayn Rand book, but I think you have to read her other books first before you can really get into it. It's only 1500 bucks. Too expensive or priceless? It is priceless, of course. Uh, I just bought four of your books. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Doug. Time travel is fun. Working to make the future a present reality is worth every ounce of time. I concur. I totally concur. I have 12,000 LinkedIn connections. Go. Go, go, go. All you need for time travel is the DeLorean and 1.21 gigawatts. Oh, my God. Your sales Bible is a must read for my first network marketing company. I'm happy for that. And I, I'm hoping, Warner, that you're doing amazingly well. When I want to stay in bed, I know you're up reading, writing, preparing, and planning. I get up. Yep. I'm up there. Believe me, I'm totally up there. Brad? Atlas Shrugged rocked my world in a good way. The only thing I didn't like about it was the way it took over my life while reading it. I read it while on vacation, sitting on the beach, and did nothing else for days. I Listen, I have, you go on a reading binge, I spent two days reading Atlas Shrugged completely. Just gave up the time. It was worth, so worth it. 
I watch because you've taught me a lot and I miss the time we spent together. How many people do you know who invented handshake with? Brucey, I miss you too. So uh, let's try to get together. Bruce and I invented the flounder handshake. That's all I'm going to tell you. One day we will do it on video and put it up on YouTube. 11 a.m. PST. Okay, perfect. Oh, for Kellen's Coffee. <clears throat> Just send me a link and a time and you, that I can get onto it in real world. How can you be from New Jersey if you don't mention your exit? I'm from Exit 4, Philadelphia, Mount Laurel, Cherry Hill. I grew up in Atlantic City, Haddonfield, spent a little time in Woodbury, went to Temple University. When the Jewish people made their mass migration from Camden to Cherry Hill, we moved from Haddonfield to Cherry Hill. But I then lived in Berwyn. I lived in, in on the main line. I um, had a factory in Phoenixville. I'm Philly and Jersey, but I'm Exit 4. And I apologize for not saying that. I may start to work 10 minutes early to log in, hoping soon to work my way into the right writing, my own schedule and paycheck. Boom. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Mike Happel. A little late, but here from the UK. You know, it's okay. You're just, your presence is, is honored here. And Michael, I'm, I want to show you what's exactly right next to me. Literally. Michael's book 17 was sent to me autographed. And you, I don't think you can even buy the hard copy. I think it's all sold out. I think you have to go to um, Amazon and get the Kindle edition or the audio edition. But whatever you do, get it. Okay, I'll call you. <laughs> oh, my God. To hell with the aisle. I want to be the pilot. Yeah, no argument with there. Note to time travelers, avoid 2020. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny as hell. That is funny as hell. See, Gregory thinks he's from L.A. because he checks in from L.A., but I know a secret. He's from Brooklyn. That's why. His humor is so deep. Just saying. If Ayn Rand were alive today, she'd be in the Insiders Club. She would. Totally. She would. She totally would. Michelle, good morning. Anyone got some of that spare plutonium? I can't wait to see what 2021 brings. It's going to bring wealth. It's going to bring wealth. Yep. I'm going to take a look at that link. In the meantime... Yeah, 17. It's it's phenomenal. Just go get it. Michael Heppel. Michael Heppel Pro. How can we get a signed copy of 17? You know, that's a real good question. I don't know. I never asked for one. It just showed up. Oh, here we go. Audio. Well, I think we better go to Gittimer.com. .com. And go for the Insiders Club. The weekend writing retreat where you will learn to get your book off the ground, title, subtitle, table of contents, all kinds of stuff is going to happen. But the classes are filling up. There's two of them, one in mid-November, one in mid-December. Just put writer's retreat in there if you've ever wanted to write a book. Yes, it costs a little bit of money, but yes, it's so well worth it. I mean, I'm at 17 books right now and uh, and counting, and I know how to write what people want to read. And I'm going to be introducing the entire audience to publishers. They're going to come on live and talk to you about what it takes to get a book sold. So just put Writer's Retreat in, in the notes if you're still there, or you know somebody who wants to write a book, put their little thing in Writer's Retreat, and it's coming at you. And uh, writer's retreat. Put that in there. Cool. All right. And I'm going to um, challenge you that tomorrow 
is going to be an amazing day and see if you can notice anything different about me. I will have finished the Go Live book. I mean, big goal. Finish recording your book. It's amazing. And it's good. I'm reading it. It's damn good. If I don't say so myself, you can go to Amazon.com and get it. It's called Go Live. And you'll see it's got a blue cover. <sighs> Sorry to sell so much stuff. But... Woman's grateful for this group. I'm grateful for this group too. Happy day. Reading chapter 17. Exactly. This book is phenomenal. Blessed to be in the 17 group as well. I agree. Look, writer's retreat. Come on. 17 is brilliant. Who's who's in there for writer's retreat? MichaelHeppel.com. Hi, Michael. And the Insiders Club. Look, tomorrow is going to be Thursday. The week is almost finished. Where the hell did it run? It goes quickly. And your job is to take complete advantage of it. Please do. In health, in happiness, and earn a few bucks. See you tomorrow, 9.59 a.m. Cheers to you, and thank you for your support and your encouragement.